in this particular session we will discuss about android file structure so let's get started for android file structure i'm gonna use my kali linux which is running on the left hand side under vmware i'm using my android emulator from the journey motion part which runs on android version 10 so let's get started for that part i'm using my terminal here and first of all let's connect with our android emulator to connect i'm gonna use simple adb connect command with the same IP address and the port number and just hit enter now this will first start my ADB daemon or server part on the background and then establish a connection with my ADB or you can say my Android device after establishing connection simply go with ADB and the shell and here you can simply go with ls al these are some of the files and folder which were available in most of your Android devices but not all the files were always available just because it's a emulator out there some files could be different some links could be different right some of them were your shortcuts or the links you can say so the L part here or you can say where the arrow is available it's the complete shortcut the actual file was stored in this reference location so let's start with the basic first folder out there so the, again not all the folders were important as I told you so the first important folder for us was APEX that again stores your basic module files from the release of android version 10 OHA decided to divide your operating system into different modules so they can quickly update their operating system to fix a weakness more efficiently and if you go with this folder you will get multiple modules here so just go with cd apex and you will get your folders and the file inside that apex folder different modules for your android os part were available here so just go with ls al and you can see we have different modules for your runtime for your resolve part for your media part for your again conscript part as well right if you go with the latest version 11 and 12 there were some other modules were also available like if you go with the adb adb was again introduced as a module in android version 12 to get this to get the complete list of all those modules just go with your browser and go for like developer.android.com go with this platform part go with the release or you will get some updates out there or just go with android modularization yeah you can see the complete list here all the modules that were introduced in your android part so some of them were introduced in just a data release android 12 here some of the modules were introduced in android 11 some of the modules were introduced in android 10 out there but the concept of modularization or like dividing your os main part into different modules was introduced in android version 10 and all those modules were mainly stored in your apex folder which was again a file container like your apk apk and apex both were your file containers after this apex folder we got another folder for your slash bin this folder contains your binary file right all the files all the binaries all the commands you can say that you are using here like lscd pwd all the commands were stored in this particular bin folder then we got the bug report all the records all the detail like how much memory was used which user is using which uh, component which resource were consumed by which process all these basic records and the memory part or the management part or the basic low level details were stored under your bug report if you simply go with a new tab here and write a basic command like a db and bug report and hit enter you will see like we can simply generate our bug report from here and it will be available in just few seconds so just go with this command adb bug report to get a complete detail about your android device you mainly use this bug report part when you are trying to submit a weakness to the google that this android device or this particular android api has this weakness and to submit that weakness you have to submit this bug report as well so if i go with ll here you can see we got this bug report i'll go with this one as 1805 because this is the last time here so just go with unzip command to unzip this one go with bug report and i'll go with the second one and hit enter done we got the folder simply go with cd and we got all these 
handshakes and other different files were also there like main entry password version and yasina and dump logs part were also there right so you can go with all these details as per your need debug part was also available there prototype was also available there so you can go with these things after this part you also get the same txt records as well there so if you simply go with like let's print the txt record simply go with less and bug report dot txt you can see the basic details about our android device then system dumps that were critical again and we got multiple other records so all these details were stored under your bug report file which and this bug report file was stored here after this part we got the simple cache folder which was used to store our cache for our android device and our different files and applications as well then we got the configurations here under your config folder and after the config folder we got our major folder with the name data data folder contain all the data that you have all the data about your application all your call records all your sms all your themes all your wallpapers all your settings like your ringtone and all other different things were stored under your data folder or you can say all the data from all the applications were stored inside your data folder if you simply go with data cd data folder inside data you will get another folder with the same name under data you get one more folder with the same name data here this particular folder contains your main application data we got some other folders as well like we got some like cache was there boot chart was there backup was there your lost plus found was there right your system folder were also there one more folder was there with the name app if i simply go with cd app folder this folder contains your main apk files like uh, i hope you have used share it in the past right through which we share all the installed application in our devices right let's say you have installed an uh, game like you have installed pubg from play store but you want to share that pubg game with your share it so what we do uh, whenever we share the pubg it will simply fetch the apk file simply send it to the receiver right that particular apk or the application file was retrieved from this app folder if it was user installed application for all the user installed application your apk files were stored in this slash data slash app folder and for all the system level application all the files will be stored here i simply go with less slash system slash app folder then all your system installed application or you can say the vendor application that comes with your android device were available here but other than this all the data for all those system installed application and your user installed application will be available under your this folder cd slash data slash data folder here you will see different packages and they were also your system installed application and here you will also get the same user installed application like aurora store we have installed our firefox we have installed right but your super user your task locker and your icon pack were system installed applications you can say right and one more thing all those applications have their own virtual machines and to manage that virtual machine or to manage the permission for that virtual machine android always create a user for every application each and every application has their own user names as well let's say if i simply go with this uh, let's go with this adora store which we have installed at the beginning this particular adora store has a username u0a101 right if i go with the second application that we have installed and the username was u0a102 and the application name was mozilla firefox right so all the system level application and the user installed application has their unique usernames right other than that part if i go back to the home directory and go with ls hyphen al here you can see other than this data folder we got simple dev which contain main your devices folder out there then we got simple etc and etc was again a reference and the actual folder was located in your slash system and then etc out there after that part we got the basic init file you can say here right and this is again a reference link and the actual file was located here under your slash system slash bin slash init 
another important file was here with the name init.rc this init.rc is the file that we have used that we have described or the discussed while the boot process part this file contains a list of all the commands to mount your file storage and other different just simply go with the cat command go with simple init.rc and hit enter then you can see we get a list of all the folders and all the commands out there right you can see the write commands were there the change mode commands were there the mount commands were there change owner commands were also there right so all these commands will be executed from your init process right after kernel initialize the init process it will first execute all the commands that were listed in this init.rc file after executing all these things then it will initialize the zygote process it's a complete list of all the commands. it's a huge list so again after that part let's go with some other files and folders then we got one more important folder here with the name slash proc slash proc folder contains the process information all the processes that were running in the background the complete detail about those processes were stored under your slash proc folder after that part we got the basic sp which is again a copy of your slash s system slash bin file that again also known as system bin file after your s bin part we got one more folder with the name sd card which is again a link or a shortcut the actual file actual folder was located in this slash storage slash self and then primary folder then after your sd card part we got another folder with the name storage all these product and the sd card was mounted under your storage right if you see if you go with simple mnt folder as well like if i simply go with mnt which again mount all the storage devices that we have connected here so under mnt if you simply go with ls hyphen al even your sd card here was mounted into slash storage slash self and your primary part right and the same reference link was also available here you can see right so let's go with the simple storage part cd dot dot slash and your simple storage under the storage you get two different folder first one was emulated and second one was self right if you go with this folder let's go inside this folder so let's go with first cd emulated and if i go with ls hyphen al this will show you two different folder first one was zero and second one was obb so let's go with simple zero folder first and go with ls hyphen al here you will get a list of all the folders that were available inside your file managers here if you simply go with the amaze just go with the allow so all those files and folders were listed here by default if your device was not rooted then only this particular location will be available to the user but if the device was rooted your user can access almost all the folders right after that part after this storage folder if you simply go with the cd and go with ls hyphen al we got one more folder with the name system that contains all your vendor specific application as well as your system files or you can say the complete os files were located under your slash system folder all the temporary files will be located in tmp which again located in your slash data and your local and your tmp folder all your basic vendor specific files like your vendor logo which was available at the boot up time was also available in this slash system and slash vendor part these are few of the common folders which were available in your android device so this was your basic android file structure have a good day and stay connected